Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about, <laughs> as you saw right there, we are going to be talking about theater dogs. Now, Gigi, no, 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 G no, a theater dog is a dog that is usually performed on stage, like at these, like if you see in like Annie or in Andy, like you have to see Annie or, um, uh, Wizard of Oz, or what's another one that has a dog in it? I don't know. Those are the only two I know that have a dog in it. That usually can, you can use a dog in it. Sometimes... Hmm. Now, sometimes people will use a person dressed up as a dog. But sometimes they would use a real dog. But they have to be professionally trained in order to be a theater dog. As you can see right here, I have my grandparents' dog Gigi, who are we that we are watching for a couple of day, couple of days, and yeah, she's a very hyper puppy. And what usually you would do for a dog, do for a dog, for a professional dog, is that you would usually give them, you would have to train them very hard. For example, you would have to train them how to sit, how to come, um, or how to do other tricks like bark or other things like that. That. So. Gigi. So with my, so with my grandparents' dog Gigi, I am going. Gigi, you will know how to teach your dog as a theater dog. Yeah. Now. Sometimes you can either use a treat or a toy. For this just example, I'm just using a toy. So, to tell your puppy to come, you would do this. If they have a dog, if they have a... For example, in this... Well, in the scene... In the scene in Annie, when you have... When the, do, when the, police, is, when the police officer is saying, Come, hey, hey, little girl, come here. And then... Go come here, and then you're telling Gigi, you're telling you're telling the dog to come. The dog to come. What you could do is tell the dog to sit. Good girl. And then stay. You would tell them to stay. And tell them to sit. Stay. And then you would call them by their name or their acting name. Come here, Sandy! Good Sandy! Good old Sandy! And then you would reward them by giving them, them their treat or their toy. And then by giving them their treat and their, to their toy. Okay. And then another example is um, Wizard of Oz. They sometimes use a small dog, like Toto is a small dog, like you, like Gigi is a small dog. Yes, you are a small dog. She's Pomeranian, so and she's also a puppy, which she's a little bit in training, but yeah. So what you could do, so what you do is that you would tell the dog, for example, let me just get something real quick. Sometimes dogs don't listen, like a normal dog. Theater dogs don't listen either. Here, let me get her back. Come here, come here, Gigi. <laughs> She's just being a little clumsy. She's only a young puppy, so yeah. Now, I don't have a big basket, but I'm not going to explain this. Usually what you would do, she's just not in the basket. Usually what you would do, come here. Sometimes Dorothy would carry Toto in her basket, but since she's already a little bit bigger, I can't, and this basket is a little small for her. For her. If I had a bigger basket, I would explain it more. So, 
also, what you could do is you put the treat in the basket. Get the dog to get in the basket, but I'm not going to show it right now because she's too big and the basket's too small. Oh. No. And then slowly pick it up. And then when the dog stays, you could give them their treat. Another scene is when Toto is running away from the whip, hitching the Wizard of Oz. You would, what you could do is that there would usually be someone behind the stage giving them a treat. So, for example, if I say, oh, run, Toto, run! And then, usually the dog would run, but this time she just walked. Gigi! Gigi! <laughs> so, yeah, that's how a theater dog works. So, yeah, that's how a theater dog works. So, I hope you guys like this video. And make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And... And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!